Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have tried on loads of bits from Topshop and quite a few of these bits are actually in the sale. So I'm gonna go through all of them, tell you how much they cost, what they were reduced by, how they fit, all of that jazz. But just a heads up, if you do want any of the bits, you better jump on it quick because I can't imagine they're gonna stay in the sale for that long. And also size wise, if you guys are new here, just generally speaking, I tend to be a UK 14 on top and a UK 16 on bottom. Obviously, every single store is different. I say this time and time again. I'm just speaking on average, that's the kind of size that I tend to wear. But obviously, that's where in these videos, I kind of tell you whether stuff comes up big or small anyway. So yeah, let's just jump in. Right, first up, I got this bando dress so this is called the acid wash bando dress i got it in a size 16 and for starters i don't think it's even acid wash i don't know why it's called that because it is just plain black so all it really is is a ribbed black strapless dress that is simply what it is it's very very basic i do like it it's nice and thin not see-through it's nice and stretchy I got it in a 16. I did find that I had a little bit of gathering around my waist. I do think with this kind of thing, it depends how you kind of want to wear it. If you want it a bit baggier, if you want it more skin tight. It has a nice slit up the side of the legs, which I love. And it also makes it easier to walk in. So that's good. The quality of it is good. I'd say the size comes up spot on. But at the same time, it's just a basic tube dress basically so originally this cost 19 pounds but i paid 15 pounds for it so 15 pounds from top shop is not bad it's the kind of thing like this is going to last you so long it's really versatile it doesn't go in and out of fashion it's just a really nice basic dress to have in your wardrobe and also it's the kind of dress that you can dress it up with some really nice jewellery, some heels, wear it out, or you can just sort of chuck on a jacket with it, wear it out shopping, literally whatever. The only thing that's gonna hold you back is for bigger boobed girls, you're obviously gonna have to wear a strapless bra. And I do get asked quite often what my go-to strapless bra is, and it's the, I can never remember what it's called. I think it's called the Ultimate Wonder Bra, strapless bra. I will leave a link to that down below anyway in case any of you guys are looking for a really really good supportive strapless bra and of course everything I'm showing you today as well is going to be linked below. Right so next up I got this absolutely stunning strappy silky leopard print dress. First off I'm just going to show you the print I just think it is so freaking cool. I don't even know what you would call that colour it's a really kind of burnt rose kind of colour. What I do actually like about this material is that it's silky, but it's not that really, really shiny, satiny silk. So it makes it a little bit more versatile, like you could wear it out in the day and not look too overdressed, but also wear it out in the evening. It has a cowl neckline, which I love. I think that looks really elegant. The straps are adjustable, which I think is a must have for a dress like this. The quality, the quality of it is really, really good. It's all fully double lined. Just the kind of really good quality that you would expect from Topshop. So I did actually size up in this. Normally I would get my dresses in a 16 to go over my bum, but the reason I sized up is because with dresses like this, I have no give. When you sit down, and I think we've all been there where your legs and bum kind of spread, it can get quite tight. So with dresses that don't have as much give, I just thought I would size up. So I got this in an 18 and it was still quite tight. So this came up really, really small in my opinion. Also another little bugbearer that there is a split up upside of the dress, which I do love a split, but I felt like my ass was gonna pop out. This came up so high, I thought it was, ridiculously high overall I do really really like it it is an amazing dress really good quality if you're okay getting quite a lot of leg out then 
go for it. For me, I just thought it was a little bit too much, but I would definitely size up at least once in this, depending on your kind of figure. Obviously, I carry quite a lot of weight on my hips and my bum, so for me, it just wasn't quite cut right. I'm not sure if this one was in the sale actually, but it was £29. So that's not bad for a really cute dress like this. I think for Topshop as well, £29 really is not bad. So I oohed and aahed about this one, whether I should actually get it or not, because it's not something I would usually wear, but I'm glad I did. It's this denim wrap dress with these kind of chunky buckle straps. I'll just show you the straps to begin with. I normally wouldn't go for a strap like that, but I thought these were really, really good. And also I like the fact that you can adjust them and it just gives you a bit more kind of bling on your shoulders, if that makes sense. Just dresses it up a little bit more. So the way that it does up is you literally wrap it. There's a button here and a button here. So you quite simply just wrap it and just button it up. And yeah. I actually really liked it. I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting to. It is quite low cut. So if you have bigger boobs, just beware, as you'll be able to see, mine were coming out quite a lot. So I would personally need to wear this with some sort of lace bralette or something like that to kind of, yeah. Lengthwise, it was really good. The denim's really nice. It's not a stretchy denim, but it does have a tiny bit of give in it, which I do think is important with a dress. So it can kind of oh, shape to your body a little bit more. Has this tie belt detailing on, on it as well. As with most slip dresses, when you walk, it does kind of come undone a bit. I did test it out and I didn't think that you could actually see anything. There is no underlining to it, which I do normally like to have in a wrap dress, but obviously it's because it's denim. One thing that I think is a good idea is, so anyone who has problems in the summer when your thighs rub together and you get chub rub. So I started wearing chub rub shorts, which I get from m and s and honestly, they are so comfortable they are a lifesaver so i was thinking with this i might actually get some white chub rub shorts which are going to save my legs anyway and also if you do happen to flash a little bit if you have white shorts underneath you're not going to see anything anyway so it's kind of like a double purpose so yeah i do get my chub rub shorts from m and s i can't remember how much they are like 12 pounds I want to say and they are great because they're really really thin and breathable so they're not going to make you really hot I will leave a link to the ones that I get below anyway in case you guys want to go check them out so I got this in a size 16 size wise I thought it was spot on it, it, it's originally 39 pounds which because I, I think I'm quite stingy. That is quite a lot for a dress, but I'd say that's what you'd expect from Topshop, if that makes sense. But I actually got this one in the sale and it was 25 pounds. So such a good saving. I would definitely recommend that you guys jump on this dress because I just think it's really unique. It's quite different, the color on this. This is the main reason I got this dress. I thought that colour is so cool. It's a really, really nice summery orange, but it's not too... I'm not a fan of a really tangerine-esque orange, but this is more of a kind of... I don't even know what you'd call it, but it's just lovely. It's amazing. And this dress I thought was perfect to wear to weddings. Obviously, it's wedding season at the moment. So, yeah, thought I'd try this on. Quality, really, really good, really, really lovely. The fabric's really nice. It's double lined, which I tried to show you guys. Can't fault it. It was so nice. Size wise for me, right, what, what size did I get it in? I got it in a size 16. It fit, but 
So I'd say the, the size comes up how I would expect it to, but the style of it didn't really suit me. So I personally found that it's kind of like a drop waist style. So it was a bit too tight on my hips. I felt like I couldn't quite pull it down enough, but then I felt like it was too big up here. It is something that you're gonna have to be very clever what bra you wear it with. So it comes down reasonably low cut, but the arms and the back are also quite low cut as well. So it's either gonna be a no bra job or a clever bra job. But I did just think it was absolutely stunning. I love this pleat detail as well. And the bottom of it was so nice and floaty. It was really, really comfortable. I'm really gutted that it didn't quite suit me and it didn't sit right on me. So like I said, size 16, I'd say the size was spot on. It doesn't have the original price in pounds. Original price in dollars is $100. I don't know what that is, like 70 quid? I don't have a clue. Oh my gosh, this was so cheap, I didn't even realize. So I got this one in the sale and it was 25 pounds. Whoa, yeah. Anyone looking for a really, really cute dress to wear to a wedding, I would definitely recommend this. For 25 pounds, especially from Topshop, that is an absolute bargain. I'm so glad that it didn't suit me. Right, next up, anyone who's got a holiday booked needs to get this. So this is a, oh, what's it called? Bro broderie, broderie anglais, bro, oh my gosh. I struggled with this in a previous video. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I think it's called like broderie anglais or something like that. And I, I'm definitely butchering it, whatever it's called but really, really nice crochet vibe jumpsuit. So it's a strapless jumpsuit with a kind of cropped flare style leg and a keyhole detail in the middle. I got this in a size 18. It was too small on me. So I'd say this does come up small, size up. It fit my top half fine actually, but it was just really tight on my hips. So obviously I got it on, but I would have preferred it to be a lot more loose. The quality of it is so, so good, honestly. And this is another thing, this is what I love, is that it's such a unique piece. I've never seen a jumpsuit like this. Maybe I live under a rock, who knows? But I just thought it was lovely. It had this frill detailing. It has boob cups as well, so I don't know if you can see it actually is shaped to your boobs, which is great. And my boobs actually fit in this as well. A lot of the time I find that when you have boob shaped cups like this, that my boobs never ever fit in and it fit perfectly. The length was really nice on it. It's that kind of cropped style length and even things like the edging was just really, really nice. The color's beautiful. Just a really, really cute sort of date night, going out in the evening on holiday. Really, really beautiful piece. Also, love this, has the rubbery stuff on the inside so you're not gonna get slippage as well. But I felt like it felt quite secure on me. I didn't feel like it would fall down, but obviously that's a nice to have as well. So like I said, I got it in a size 18. It did come up small. So I would recommend sizing up. This was originally 65 pounds. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know why I didn't realize I got things for such good value. This, I got in the sale for 35 pounds. Whoa. I need to pay more attention when I order things. So that is amazing value, 35 pounds for a really stunning, unique jumpsuit and the quality on it is honestly amazing. I'm tempted to keep it even though it's a little bit small. Do you know, this one is actually one of my favorites. So this is a little top and I just honestly thought this was so adorable. So it's an off the shoulder, kind of puffball-y style top. The top of it's really elasticated it has this really sweet little embroidered heart print pattern on it. 
Um, the hearts aren't white, they're a kind of very, very slightly greyish creamy, which I think looks really sweet. It's not too in your face. I think if you have bright white hearts, sometimes it can make it look a little bit cheaper. And then this detailing on the sleeves, how stunning is that? Really, really cute. Obviously the sleeves elasticated as well. This was so comfortable. Probably one of the most comfortable tops I've ever, ever worn because, I mean, come on, look at that. So this was actually in the tall section as well, just FYI, but you can kind of wear this band wherever you want, hoist it up, pull it down, and you can kind of alter how cropped you want it, which I really love. Has this little tie detailing on the front. It is fake. You cannot tighten or loosen this bit. So it's just there, just there to look pretty really. So I got this in a size 14 and it was very, very roomy. So again, it's one of those things that depends how you wanna wear it, how much material you wanna have. I feel like I could have sized down and then had a little less material kind of around here. And I probably would have preferred that a little bit more, but the 14 is still good anyway. I'd say it's probably just spot on for sizing really. So originally this was £22. I think that's actually really good pricing as it is for a top like this. It is a jersey materials style top, but even the, the material is really, really high quality. And obviously the finishing on it is so beautiful, but I did not pay £22 for it. I got this for £7. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear this literally every day this summer. Okay, last one guys, bear with me. So, I got this top, kind of similar embroidery style as to the four, but reason I love this is it's peplum style. Peplum style is really, really flattering. If you have a more hourglass cur curvy figure, it looks great. I'm a massive fan of that kind of cut. Really nice deep V, which obviously looks great with a necklace. The quality is good. However, the material is this kind of really thin, linen-y style material. So it is very see-through. It's not such an issue at the front because you obviously have all this design on it, but at the back, it's, it is quite see-through. It didn't bother me that much, but obviously, if that is something that bothers you, this ain't for you. I loved the detailing on the sleeves here as well. The only thing I thought is basically the way they've cut, not cut, the way they've, um, what's it called? Basically it has gathered shoulders here. So I felt like I was in the 80s, quite big shoulders. Overall, I did really like the top, really, really sweet. Love this embroidery pattern. Again, this is so versatile, goes with jeans or a skirt or literally whatever, and the material is so thin that it's nice and kind of breezy. Although, the when I say about quality, the zip is broken on this. Just trying to be honest with you guys, the zip is messed up, really messed up. So obviously I will be returning this, but just as a heads up, obviously no shop is perfect, but I was surprised to have found out that the zip was mashed up before I'd even tried it on. So I got this in a size 14. So it was originally 35 pounds, but I paid 20. So I'd say 35 pounds is quite steep, but 20 pounds, I think, perfect price. So I would recommend it. Just check the zip. That's all I would say. <laughs> right, so that is everything. Some really, really nice bits there. I am i don't know why I haven't shopped at Topshop for so long, because I do love their stuff, but the sale is incredible. So many nice things that are reduced quite a lot. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna leave the links to everything below, so if you wanna go check them out, I will also let you know about those chub rub shorts and the strapless bra. If you guys wanna check those out, I'll leave the links below as well. And size wise, generally speaking, obviously this is just my opinion 
and how I find things. Obviously everyone's different, but I would say Topshop sizes come up either spot on or ever so slightly small. So bear that in mind, but obviously make up your own mind. Everyone is different anyway, and everyone likes things to fit slightly differently. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.